So, um, I was going to tell you this. Yeah. This, so this, I, I was going to tell you this, because this week, something happened to myself and my friend James. Yes. We, uh, oh, our friend James, James our, Acaster. Our friend James Acaster. Our friend James Acaster. I went out for some food with him. He got to meet my new baby, little mm. Jerry Cinnamon. Okay, well, but, here's, here's something I'd say right away. Yeah. I wasn't invited, and I've still not met your baby. Oh, that's a good point. Yes. I tell you what, I'll bring her in next week. If you would. If that's that would okay be great. She's up early, right? It's a couple of things. I mean, you were in Edinburgh, for starters. Yeah, always nice to be invited, though. Same with the uh, exposure thing last night. It's true. It's true. I should have invited you. And also, James lives just around the corner from me. So right. So, sort of, you know, that's main, the main reason. Yeah. Anyway, that's not... Still quite upset about well, it. Well, you won't be upset when you find out. We went to a cafe. Lovely. I love a cafe. Well, here's the thing. We were having brunch. Mm. Which I, I love brunch. Love. I love any. I love any uh, meal that is a splicing of two meals. You together. love a portmanteau dinner, don't I you? I love yes, a portmanteau absolutely. dinner. Exactly. I call that. I call that a port minna. You call it a, a port minna. I call it a port minna. What do you have after a port minna? Lovely glass of port minna. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the so we were having this brunch, right? Uh, breakfast and lunch, yeah, combo brunch. And uh, James found a small piece of glass <gasps> in his food. What? Yeah. And uh, that wasn't part of the food? It, not wasn't... Part, it wasn't on the menu, so no. not in the ingredients they'd, uh, they'd listed. Yeah, so he it wasn't like crunchy egg or something. <laughs> I mean, that's not a great idea, is it, crunchy egg? What's, how do you make this egg so crunchy? Well, <laughs> you want to check your stools. Um, <laughs> Win- window omelette. That would be another good name for it. Absolutely. Sometimes I say something and sure. you don't know what to say back. I, I, I just want to let you know, Matthew. I, no, no. I, although I like that me. may have been a bad piece of radio, be saying window omelette. I like it. You Always know, good to just say something back quickly. I mean... No, there you go. You've done it again. Here's the thing. You've done it again. All You've I been... could have said back quickly would have been, what? <laughs> and my brain my brain wanted to say what. Or, I said, yes, or just repeat what I say and window just make omelet. it seem like I'm a normal guy. I tell you what, we'll, we'll try it again. Throw window omelette at me. Window omelette. Sounds great. There you go. <laughs> That's all it needs, mate. Not a sudden st- staring at me and going, what the hell's wrong with this guy? I mean... It makes me feel bad. I it makes me look bad in front of the listener. I don't want to make you feel bad. The one thing I don't want to do about oh, at any point during this radio window show... Omelet. Just make you feel bad. Right, thank you. Uh, does a bloke come round and clean your omelets? <laughs> so there we go. That's sort of the thing you're after, yeah. That uh, sort okay. of thing. Uh, so anyway, small piece of glass we found in the brunch, <laughs> right? Double gla- double glazed scrambled. Okay, yes, come yes. Come on, yes. Matthew! The thing is, that I didn't even know if that had finished yet. <laughs> double glazed scrambled. <laughs> I, I honestly... Okay. <laughs> Right. Sure. Okay. Got conservatory on. over easy. Does that... W- c- c- no, he's oh. not conservatory over easy. He's not taking mm, that. That was quite good, actually. I'm annoyed now. I should have <laughs> <laughs> if that's your idea of quite good, there is a huge, a huge problem here. Anyway, um, James... I, I said to James, you've got to take your, your meal back. You can't finish this with a little bit of glass in it. Greenhouse and ham. Lovely stuff. Thank you. Great. Greenhouse and ham. Um... <laughs> For those of you who uh, just joined us, uh, we're, I'm telling an anecdote about brunch. <laughs> so I was, so I said, you've got to take the meal back. Uh, James took it back and said, "Hey, there's a little bit of glass in my uh, in my food." And uh, and then he came back to the table. I said, so "What did they say?" And uh, he said, "Oh, they said um, thanks for telling us." Oh what? no! Thanks for telling us. Yeah. Um, luckily enough, I think what happened was whoever, whichever staff member said thanks for telling us, then went and told somebody else. Oh, yeah, a bit of glass in the food, and someone came over and, and offered, us, offered us a round of cakes, which was great. Yeah, full of pins. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a few, few nick needles in there sticking yeah. out. <laughs> we'll that's that's not. You need to say sorry immediately, right? I think sorry would have been the first thing. Yeah, yeah. It seems to be the hardest word though. Yeah, John, it does. John, Fam- John yeah, famously, famously taught us that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, yeah. So it, it was, it was quite mad. Quite a mad customer service there to be like, oh, thanks for telling us. Yeah, thanks. On you go. <laughs> I mean, he got he got a complete refund on the food and a round of cakes. So actually, yeah. it was worth bringing that small piece of glass yeah, probably into the food. But um, should yeah. we punt? Should we punt it out to the listeners? Yeah. Has has anyone else had any similar experiences in the service industry like this? Have you had to complain about some food? Have you got a refund? Have they gone above and beyond? Have they gone below and not quite as far? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the opposite of above and beyond? If you've ever had to complain in a restaurant situation uh, about a particularly weird thing like that, just get in contact, let us know. Or indeed, it doesn't even have to be weird. Just the sorts of complaints that you've had to make in restaurants before. 83936 on the text, at Radio X, on the tweets, Matthew. Oh, so what's, oh, what's that in the sky? 
Did you see that go overhead just then? Yes. Is it a Windows omelette? No. Oh. <laughs> whoosh. Oh, it's whoosh. It's a hypersonic missile. The Fender Pender. I'm Sam Fender. And you're listening to Radio X. Whoosh. <laughs>